So, you're looking for a word that rhymes with orange, and you're tired of using door hinge. Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to this back. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again, taking a look at how I made this cool little cinematic, um, motion graphic, not intro, starting screen? I don't know what this is. It's like a logo kind of thing, um, in Blender. So, I want to get started by saying, first off, that this is super, super easy. These kind of things are super easy to do. If you take them and break them down in a couple pieces. So first we have the background and then we have the foreground. It's literally the only two things that's in the shot. It's literally just a solid color background with like a little point light at the bottom. Um, and then this uh, logo that I have an area lamp at the top um, to make it look like it's a gradient from, you know, super bright to darker. Um, then I have an area lamp at the bottom as well that's kind of stretched out to make a, the night, that, night, that nice little uh, purple glow. Of course, I have bloom set to on as well, so it has that nice little, you know, shiny bloom effect, you know, with all the glowing and whatnot. Um, and one of my coolest, one of the coolest things that I love doing with these kind of intros is always making um, uh, little lights that go across the text, which is just once again another area lamp. So, and if you pull, if you pull anything from this video, just think anytime you want something to look cool or to light something just use an area lamp okay just <laughs> there's you can stretch them out you can move them around you can make them different shapes and if you're using them with text it's great because it's a flat surface um and you can do a lot with them so in the background here i'm making a little upside down triangle and what i'm doing is i'm putting point lamps so close to them that it makes it look like there's a light that's traveling through like this line or whatever it is that's glowing um Keep in mind, all these values that I'm using are super, super high and super bright just to get this to kind of bloom the way that I want it to, to kind of glow a bit. Um, and the best thing about the this kind of um, scene or this kind of project or whatever is the flexibility that you have is crazy. So um, down to everything, even down to the color, um, like I said, if you want to go ahead and change something, you always just change the colors up, change all the, you know, the, the lighting, whatever else. And... It just feels really ambient and really cool and really nice. Now, all this stuff that I'm doing is animated and it does all loop as well. So a big thing you're going to want to keep in mind um, when you're doing things like this is um, if you want it to loop, which obviously you should, you know, because if you're trying to use this as a starting screen or an intro or whatever, you want it to loop as long as is possible, you know. Um, so I have this on, I think, 400 frames. And what I'm doing um, what I'm doing right now, actually, is just creating a, a little uh, vignette, a little Lomo, by using an ellipse mass put into a blur, which is um, going into a math node set to multiply in the compositor super quickly. Um, but the the thing that I want to really focus on in this, this specific video is all of this stuff that I'm doing, like I said, I think this took me maybe, maybe, about, maybe about an hour and a half. I don't even know how long, actually. But um, all the stuff that I'm doing, we're using super basic things and i'm just fiddling with them over and over again until they they look the way that i want them to all these animations are super super fast super quick and they kind of just loop so i have those point lamps kind of just traveling up and down the um the lamp there to kind of try and make it look like there's you know some sort of light going up and down and just giving something cool to look at in the background um while the little shine goes across the the text intro uh the text in the in the in the, in the foreground there sorry um so I think the biggest thing, like I said, just you get use those area lamps. It, that's so big. I use area lamps all the time. And I'm telling you right now, if you stretch that bad boy out, you know, a little SX on the keyboard, scale on the X axis, you know, the kind of, you know, the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you scale that thing out across that length of the text, turn the brightness up a little bit, the strength up, sorry, you can get some really, really cool effects. And the last thing that I did here um, was I actually added a bit of depth of field and I set the focus to the text. So the text was always in focus and the background is what looked a little bit um, blurred, which is really, really cool. And here's the um, here's the actual animation without it being like super speedy. But um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I think it looks so cool. I love making these kinds of things. Um, so yeah, keep all that stuff in mind. And like I said, the biggest thing to kind of take away it's not only just the area lamps and and the strong strong use you can you can do with those to create gradients in blender on text or any flat surface really like the background or or anything the biggest thing to take away is just get creative with it like i said it's so simple it's so simple just break it down it's literally just the text in the foreground and in the background the background i always do some sort of gradient using a point lamp or an area lamp and then the uh, foreground here with the uh with the actual letters is um is always just up for grabs like you can literally do anything literally literally anything just um 
kind of have a vision and kind of keep chipping away at it until until it gets the way you want it to. Like I said, I didn't know what I wanted to do in the background or um or with the with the text itself. Um, but you know, you just keep chipping away at it, wait at it until you figure out what you think looks good and um, just play with different shapes and different uh, colors and different whatevers until you get something that you are excited about. So, hope, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.